um, to work out our T value and P value for the T test. Okay, so make sure you watch the other video about the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis, the hypothesis because we're going to be using that in this video. Okay, so um, we want to introduce um, a data set. Okay, so we're going to go to listen spreadsheets for statistics. Um, it's really important to label our values, so our columns. So I'm going to go group one in uh, the A cell, and I'm going to go group two in the top cell. Okay, so that will help me refer back to these shortly. So next, you have to input your data. Um, this is a t test, so you don't have to worry about. Um, the column, the, the amount that's the data being the same. Okay, so remember we're just testing the variance of each um, and saying that there is, sorry, not the variance, the um, x bar of each. Okay, so the mean. Um, so you need to type your data in, making sure um, that it's taken care because I've noticed on the GDC it's been easy to miss some numbers. Okay, so I've got my G1 data inputted. Uh, G2 data takes time, but this is what you're going to have to get used to for an exam. Uh, these are probably the exam style questions. Um, we're going to assume that the uh, variances of the two groups are the same, which means we're going to be using a pooled test, something that we're going to have to use in the drop down menu 57 and 66. Okay, so make sure when you, if you're following along, now pause the video typey type your data in okay um all right so we're going to carry out a t test we want to find the t value so we're going to go to menu and we are going to be doing statistics and we're going to do a stat test like last time okay but the big difference is now we have two groups we have two samples so we're not going to use number two this time we're using number four the two sample t test so we're going to click that okay so we've got that data input method have we got the data or have we got the statistics behind the data in this case we have the data so we're gonna click okay and he says all right so here's a wizard uh list one well we we were sensible and we put that we called that g1 okay um List two, well, that's our second list, G2. Um, frequency of each is one. Right, remember that alternative hypothesis? This is where you're going to need it. All right, so it's asking you, right, how are we testing it? Is it a one-tailed test or is it a two-tailed test? This one we decided was a two-tailed test and said it, pooled data. Yes, it's pooled data. Um, let's just click down, see what's happening. Put our results in C column. Yes, please. Uh, shade P value. Don't worry about that for the time being. And then we click OK. It gives us some data and two blah, 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 blah. And the ones that we're interested in are here. OK, so we've got a T value of negative 0.235 and a P value of 0.816. We're going to use those to make a judgment to decide um, the conclusion to the test.